Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to do because I'm gonna be using a lot of Ulta Beauty products from their own brand. And I'm starting with a bare face and we're gonna be doing demo. We're gonna talk about all the products, what I like, what I don't. Over the years, I have tried and tested a lot of Ulta Beauty products and I'm here to tell you all about it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Eva, I love all things beauty. If you're not new, welcome back. If you like makeup and beauty video reviews and full face, of one brand in particular give this video a like and i hope you consider subscribing to my channel today and without any further ado let's jump right in before we fully get into the products i want to do a small disclaimer so all these products i purchased by myself this video is not sponsored ulta beauty has no idea that i'm even making this video yeah, i've been shopping at ulta beauty for many many years i do like their benefit program like their point system and that's why i keep coming back i've tried a lot of their own brand products and this is why I am sitting down in front of you today and telling you all about this products because there are a lot of a lot of products that I discovered that became staples and most of them are very much underrated and at the end of the video I do have some products they are technically beauty related but they're not necessarily makeup so I will talk about them at the end of this video also I will be using most of my Ulta brushes in this video I do have a separate video where I talk about only my Ulta brushes and I will have that video linked to in the description box. With all that being said, let's get started with makeup. I want to start by applying this lip balm on my lips. This is a lip quench hydrating balm. I really like how it's a squeezy tube and it has this slanted plastic applicator. It's really comfortable to use. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my lips it's really balmy and it's not sticky it doesn't really smell like anything i use this a lot this is my second one i think i really love how comfortable this is just really really hydrating it stays on your lips for a while next product i'm gonna use is this sun protection broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen this is a mineral matte tinted face lotion this is what the shade looks like this being an SPF, I use a ton of it. Just the same amount you would normally use your SPF. But if you guys have followed me here long enough, you would know that how much I love my Australian gold tinted SPF lotion. And that one has been pretty much a holy grail and it really never left my stash for the past, I would wanna say three years. This is a very similar it does kind of have the same texture as the Australian gold, like a little bit of um, like silicone -y feel, not fully silicone, but a little bit. It does have that light slip to it. It comes out as a tinted product. However, on skin, it's pretty transparent. However, I do have a lot of redness to my face, so it does tone down that redness for me. I also find it to be a pretty smoothing on skin. So if you have texture, if you have visible pores like me, redness, things like that, that is definitely helpful it does take a little bit of a time to spread it evenly but then once it sets it actually feels really nice and comfortable on skin this product is also unscented which i love this next product is actually something that definitely became a favorite so this is an under eye primer and it is a very interesting texture. It, it almost has a texture of very thin putty. And I apply it with my finger or you can apply it with a brush as well. I've never had an issue with it like clumping up or pilling under makeup or anything like that. So this is an under eye primer for texture for smoothing the lines. Your concealer to lay a little bit better. I do have very minor lines under my eyes. My left eye is always irritated. I've mentioned to you guys that I have been having a lot of sensitivity to my eyes. So my left eye has almost like a sore spot right here on the corner of my eye because it just waters so much over and over. So I've been using this and it's actually have been helping me to almost create the barrier between foundations and concealers. It serves like a protective barrier under your eyes it's very comfortable it's not heavy also does have a little bit of reflective particles so once you apply it it almost looks like there's a little bit of a glow going on under my eyes fully transparent product and it absorbs into my skin and helps with hydration definitely notice that with this under eye primer the concealers they usually would crease a little bit more they crease a little bit less i really have been using this product pretty much on an everyday basis when i get ready in the morning to most of you the next product is not going to be a surprise you guys have probably seen this 
million and million times on my channel. This is a mattifying face primer. This is a full size tube. I also have a mini size of a poreless face primer from Ulta Beauty and I want to show you packages side by side so you would see the difference. So today I am going to be using this primer. I still want to show you this primer just on my hand. This is a poreless face primer so it's supposed to smooth and refine pores and align smooth complexion. So it's basically just the clear silicone primer and when you blend it it just blends into your skin it helps you with smoothing your texture if you have visible pores it will help you to fill them in a little bit and smooth out the look of your complexion so today i'm going to be using this primer this is mattifying face primer silicone texture also but as you see it's not transparent so i usually use a decent amount of it because it's a little bit thicker in consistency than the one that I just showed you earlier on my forehead as well. My forehead is the oiliest part of my T-zone. The next product I'm very excited to tell you about because finally, finally, Ulta Beauty has come out with a wonderful foundation that actually works. After all the foundation fails, this is a pretty simple packaging, one fluid ounce of product. There are 26 shades available. My shade is a light neutral. My shade is number five from the lightest end that's available. I will read you some of the claims very briefly. So this is a blendable, buildable, and pigmented formula, medium coverage, natural matte finish, suitable for most skin types. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and paraben-free clean formula. So it does have a reflective blend that moves with skin throughout the day, and it does have a vitamin E added to help your skin appear more supple. I will tell you guys that I did try it with a brush and it applies with a brush wonderfully. You want to apply it with your fingers, with the brush, with the sponge. That's your choice, really. You guys, this is one layer of foundation and I really just noticed right away a good medium coverage. It was really easy to apply. I, there is no issues. There's is no streakiness. I feels really comfortable on skin. It does feel a little bit hydrating and you do see a glow, a little bit of a glow. This foundation will settle down into more of a soft matte finish. I am very happy with this layer. I know this foundation builds up because I've been using it non-stock because I like it that much. This foundation wears really, really well throughout the day. All the claims that you read on that foundations are true, at least for me. Let's move on to the next product and we're going to be talking about Ulta Beauty Concealers. It comes in 16 shades and I do have two of them. This concealer has 0.16 ounce of product inside of this tube. It retails for $9, comes in 16 shades. Let's read a few claims here. So it's a full coverage liquid concealer, lightweight, creamy, and has a super blendable formula that offers full coverage, flawless matte finish. It does have aloe vera, chamomile, green tea, tea tree oil, and all of these are natural ingredients that help heal and reduce redness and inflammation, all preventing infection when concealing. So it is also formulated gluten-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and fragrance-free, suitable for all skin types and a vegan friendly. Very simple packaging, just plastic tubes, and the shades are on the bottom. So I got shade a light cool and a light neutral. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's very flat if you look at it sideways and it's kind of like that pointed leaf shape. Here we have light cool and then this one is a light neutral. This one is a little bit more like neutral pink and this one has a little bit more yellow in it. So I use the pink one under my eyes and this one I use all over my face. This concealer has really interesting formula feels like it's whipped it's not like anything else that I've ever tried before it blends a really really easily it just kind of melts into your skin it does have that very interesting fluffy texture that is just so easy to apply I really like that precise doe foot applicator lets you to get right into the corner or if you like to maybe like outline your eyebrows that precise pointed tip applicator would let you do that with ease now guys moving on to the next product and these two powders they're called adjustable coverage foundations and again i do have two shades this powder foundation retails for 14 dollars have 20 shades available in a range and has 0.3 ounces of product in it i have mine in the shade fair warm and then fair neutral the packaging is very very simple it does have a 
window here that you can kind of see the color through half of this lid is a mirror it does open up you get a sponge i will I'm not a huge fan of this packaging besides that it's just very cheapy looking but okay the product is good sometimes i don't mind the packaging when it comes to affordable makeup that actually works i don't really mind the cheapy packaging what i really wish they would do is making this window a little bit larger and then just maybe put that mirror on this side so this this is an adjustable coverage foundation. It is a creamy moisturizing formula that provides flawless luminous finish. A long wearing adjustable coverage reduces the appearance of fine lines and imperfections. It does have a very interesting key ingredients that are really never encountered in the past. The granulometric silica ingredient is a something that allows you to use the product wet or dry. To use this dry, you would just normally use it like with a sponge or a brush and to use it wet that would actually give you a little bit heavier coverage you would just use a dampened sponge for it so i'm going to use this fair and neutral shade to set my face so as you guys can see i have massive pans in both of these powders is because i use them a lot i've repurchased them many many times you guys countless times that i don't even know how many times at this point i'm just using it today as more of like a setting powder that does give you a little bit extra coverage because my foundation was a medium coverage and you guys know that i leave the redness and one layer foundation on purpose that way i can show you this product and what it can do this powder foundation is wonderful in its own because it is not drying and it is very smoothing it does give you that very nice coverage and you can control the coverage this one i actually do use under my eyes or in my t-zone just for brightening because it's a little bit brighter shade the concealer definitely does crease you guys i'm not gonna lie to you because it does have that whipped formula just clean it out with your sponge and then set it with your favorite powder i go really really light-handed on this powder because it does have a coverage. It is, after all, a powder foundation. I also wanted to mention one powder that you may have seen in my recent Ulta Beauty haul. And I did talk about it briefly. However, after I purchased it, literally a few days after when I went on the website and I wanted to look some information up, it wasn't available. They discontinued it. I did promise you that I'm gonna give you an update uh, in future videos, but because it was discontinued, it's no longer available, I did wanna say that you will never see it here on my channel anymore. But when I tried, it, I also didn't like it because it was very very dry now that my base is done I'm gonna use the bronzer and I'm gonna start with this full glow matte bronzer mine is in the shade light to medium you guys can see that I'm almost hitting a pan on it bronzer comes in two shades light to medium medium to deep mine is the lighter one it does retail for ten dollars this almost has like a thicker clear cover and then the same base all the information for the product is in the back here you know mirror very simple and the entire packaging feels like it's made pretty sturdy it is quite difficult to open it does close really well which is a good thing but I feel like if you do have an uh, issue with dexterity like condition to your hands or wrists joints things like that it might not be the product for you it's quite difficult to open Ulta Beauty has a lot of cream products which I haven't got my hands on and I have been trying a lot of cream products in the past several years. That's where the trends kind of went to. And a lot of brands have been coming out with cream bronzers, blushes, and cream highlighters, all sorts of things. And I haven't tried anything cream from Ulta Beauty. If you have, let me know what your thoughts are because I have so many cream bronzers right now and so many cream blushes. And uh, generally cream products do expire faster than the powder products. So I just always kind of postponed it. But you guys, if you tried it, let me know if it's worth trying. So this bronzer is definitely light. It does build up, which I do appreciate. You guys already know that. Um, I do like bronzers. They're kind of pigmented, but not too pigmented. There is a very, very small amount of fallout on this, which is fine because it does help with blendability i'm also using my bronzer brush from alta beauty i really like it it's so soft so i'm just gonna bring it down a little bit here as a fair person it is quite difficult to find bronzers they're light when you're really fair though and you're not using any self-tanning products this 
shade and this undertone works really well at my palest complexion. It does have a very interesting name like Fall Glow, but it's a matte glowy bronzer. It almost kind of like contradicts itself, but it is truly that. It is a matte finish, but it makes your skin glowy and healthy looking. And this is one of the things that I really, really like about not only bronzers, but a lot of complexion products. So this is definitely a hit in my eyes. So we continue with the complexion. I do have a surprise item for you. It's not gonna be what you normally see from me. You know I like my highlighters. So today I do not have a highlighter for you to show you. However, I do have a baked bronzer. This bronzer comes in just this shade. And let me go ahead and swatch this for you. This is what it looks like. You can see on the swatch that it does have that beautiful glow to it. Also a little bit deeper by the shade from the one that I just used. I'm actually gonna use it with this fluffy big brush that I normally use for highlighters. I just kind of tap it like this. I only go on the very highest points of my face right here where I would normally highlight and when I tell you guys I go very light-handed because this product is pretty pigmented and it's very glowy right here on the tip of my nose a little bit right here where I would like a little bit more awareness because it does give me a little bit more concentrated and warmer color I really love how this is looking you, you guys followed me here you've already known that I love matte blush, a matte bronzer, and a highlighter. This has been my like ABC for such a long time. This is definitely something that brings me out of my comfort zone. I do have a glowy bronzers in my collection. However, I don't really reach for them that much. I usually would use them to bronze my body. This is probably the first bronzer that I actually use and reach for on a daily basis since I got it. I actually use it because I really like the effect of it. I really like that the color is very subtle. I use it always with a combination of a matte bronzer first, like today, and I would only add on the perimeter of my face very, very small. Needless to say that this bronzer would last you for your lifetime. Definitely a beautiful product that I did not expect I would like, but I continue reaching for it over and over. Now it's time for blush, and I have a few for you to show you. So I do have this flush blush, and it comes in this very simple packaging again, but the good thing is that you can pop this off. This is in the shade of Flamingo. It's that beautiful, glowy, baby pink. We'll be using this blush today. And I also picked up this palette. This one is called Coral Crush Blush Trio. These two blushes are matte and this blush is a glowy. You can see this is a little bit more coral. This is more neutral in the middle, and then this one is definitely more coral, and it's definitely glowy. So the packaging for this one is very simple. The names of the shades are in the back. They have two different variations of this trio palette. It closes really nicely, and it's pretty easy to open. It does have a really nice mirror, which I like. My brush is clean, it's just stained. This is actually a knit cosmetic brush for Ulta. I really love these, this is such a good quality. I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two blushes like that. This is very subtle and natural looking blush. It builds up nicely on your skin. I really like mixing these two matte shades up. This is how I've been using it. Formula is fine. It's a little bit more subtle, but it does build up. This a shimmery shade, unfortunately I was very disappointed about because it does have a lot of fallout. It almost crumbles when you try to pick it up and it does really bring a lot of like potteriness and texture. And these two shades are completely different. I really like that peachy quirly shades a lot. So I had a lot of hopes for this one. And unfortunately this shade did not bring it to the table. I do want to add a little bit more glow to this area since I do not have a highlighter. This blush is very tightly packed, so there's barely any fallout. So I really need to buff my brush into it a few times just to make sure I pick up that pigment. Just this portion of my cheeks is very, very subtle blush. However, it does have that beautiful glow to the skin. If you are the person who does not like a lot of blush, you might want to check this one out. So now it's time for brows and I do have three to show you. This one you probably already seen a million times over and 
over and over on my channel in my empties and my favorites and my get ready with me's this has been with me in my collection as long as this product has been available this is a brow tint i have mine in the shade light the reason why i like this so much is because of its teeny 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 tiny brush look how tiny this little thing is also let me show you this two pencils this is a brow pencil this is a double sided there is a spoolie on one side and the spoolie is a very very soft you guys on this side you have a thicker brow pencil and then i also have an ultra slim brow pencil again it's double-sided the spoolie is a little bit more thin and a pretty standard skinny pencil hey guys i did want to show you the swatches here so this is an ultra slim pencil this is a thicker pencil and this is a tinted brow gel tinted brow gel is a little bit on a cooler size so i can't really talk and do my eyebrows so let me go speed through this process and i'm going to come back to give you a little bit more details about the eyebrow products So let's start from this tinted brow gel. I did already mention that I've loved this gel for so long. I've repurchased this many, many times. This product is very affordable. I really like how tiny this applicator is. If you guys like me and if you have a very small amount of brow hairs and my eyebrow hairs are very thin and they just kind of move all around the place, it's really, really easy to control the hairs with this brush. I wish more brands would do the brushes this tiny. This product has a medium hold, which which I'm okay with. I do prefer a strong hold for my eyebrows. This does have a little bit of waxiness in the formula and it does make the hairs stay pretty well, even though it is more of a medium hold. I also find it being a little bit water resistant, which is perfect for summer. As far as these two pencils, it does say that the thicker one actually does have wax added to the formula. So it does have a little bit more of a slip. Both of these pencils are in the shade Ash Taupe. I think this shade works out perfectly. It's not too cool or too ashy on me or too gray because it is a little bit waxy. It does have a little slip, so you can't really make very, very precise lines with it so however i do like this really natural eyebrow and i do like the pigment that it deposits can uh, say this is my favorite pencil but it does the job it pretty much the same goes for ultra slim pencil it does have a very similar formula to the thicker one just because it is a thinner pencil it does give you a little bit more precision and, okay guys i finished my eyeliner i added some lashes and i did want to say a few things about this eyeliner so this is a gel eyeliner formula and you guys can see how pretty opaque this is it does feel like gel but you do need to put a little bit of pressure on it i usually use this pencil on my waterline i'm not using any eyeshadows in this video because i haven't found the one that i actually like from ulta beauty yet so i opted out to have this as a look today so i did apply it with a very skinny brush i found this a little bit easier to use then just use a pencil on its own. I think it stays uh, really, really well throughout the day. And for uh, my uh, lower uh, lash mascara, did use the favorite mascara that you've also seen on my channel and have heard me talk about a million and a million of times again. This is a New Heights mascara. The reason why I like this mascara so much is because of the shape of its wand and the size of it. It does have very short plastic bristles. So I do have very short, thin eyelashes and it's really easy for me to use this brush. It's not messy it's just really easy to just precisely apply the product where it needs to go this is so far my favorite mascara out of all the ones that i tried from ulta beauty and i really like this mascara for every day not so much of a length but a little bit of volume and definitely a definition it's products. and i do have a few lip products to share with you today i'm only going to be using one but i'm going to show you the formulas and swatches thing the only thing about all these products is that the shades are not on the packaging so we'll have them here for you on the screen and of course linked in the description box and the first one is this lip crayon and a matte finish it does apply a little bit more creamy with a little bit of shine and then it turns into that soft matte finish which is really comfortable on lips it's not too thick of a formula it doesn't accentuate your texture on your lips if you have a lines like i do it feels comfortable on lips and it does wear pretty well throughout the day i'm not going to be using this product today because i don't necessarily like this shade i think it does have a little bit of like purple cooler undertone and i don't find the specific shade flat 
splattering on my skin but i do like the formula and the next product is the jelly gloss again very simple packaging it does have this little nozzle it is very very glossy formula it is however very sheer it does have a little bit of sheen to it they're not speckles of glitter it's just a shimmer and again it's very sheer gloss even though it does look a little bit of like champagne on your lips but once you put it on your lips because you're applying such a small amount it actually looks like a clear gloss i would say a little goes a long way if you put a very very little amount it actually is pretty comfortable if you put a little bit too much it does become goopy the lipstick that i'm going to be using today is the luxe lipstick formula my packaging is gold i think it was like a limited edition a line of packaging right now it's available more in that like a gunmetal type of color but this is the lipstick and it's a creamy formula so i'm going to go ahead and apply it um, okay guys i do have a finished look the lipstick is on i really really like this formula it's very creamy and it's also pretty glowy if you like yourself a creamy glowy lipstick you might want to try this there are different shades available all right guys this is a finished makeup look today so these are the products that stood out to me the most uh, i definitely found some favorites and i don't necessarily use them all together all at once on a daily basis but uh, they are in my daily drawer products are definitely a standout for me and something that i would definitely recommend you look into if you are looking in something in that category definitely it would be this new foundation all the beauty finally nailed the formula amazing product of these bronzers are really really nice as well I really like how light it is and it works with the pale complexion this full glow matte bronzer is actually has a pretty cool formula that I really really enjoy and the shade is spot-on for a fair skin I would not leave this video of course this would be also a product that I would recommend to you this face mattifying primer is almost essential for me I try traveled with this so many times it goes with me wherever i go i also love the powder foundations i wish they would improve the packaging a little bit however i do really like the formula mascara and the tinted brow gel are also staples i am definitely going to be repurchasing more of this in the future i went through a few tubes of this already and it's definitely something that is going to stay in my rotation this lip balm is super super comfortable and very hydrating the under eye primer definitely became an essential item this was definitely an unexpected find we're finished but not quite yet i do want to share a few more items with you they're of course a beauty and makeup related that i also have been a loving first one would be a beauty tool that i've mentioned to you guys in my previous videos that literally changed my beauty game and i'm talking about this lash tool applicator it literally does the job for you if you struggled with applying your lashes try to use this tool not every lash applicator tool is the same this one has a perfect length to this portion and a perfect curve it applies the lashes for you literally so the other product that i really really love is the microfiber towels for makeup remover it's double-sided it is a seven by seven it does have the little hook that you can hang them on and it comes in a set of two they have a slightly two different textures on both sides and you can literally use water to remove your makeup with this towels i use these towels interchangeably with my makeup eraser so another category of makeup that nobody really talks about the ulta beauty does really well is eyeshadow primers so i do have the matte one and there is another one that's tinted which is also really great it does look a little bit tinted when it comes on but once you blend it it actually blends into your skin and it's no longer tinted it does give you a very smooth surface it's not streaky it's not sticky that makes your texture of your eyes smoother and it does help wearability of your eyeshadow the one last item that i wanted to show you is a z palette this is a large one from ulta beauty they often go on sale and you can get it for a really really good deal i think a z palette and ulta beauty collaborate and these were made this does come in two different sizes and this is a larger one so you would have a little bag here with the magnets these palettes come in really handy if you travel or if you just don't like a packaging or a packaging broke from your favorite products and you would just still like to use it this is exactly where this palette will come in all right guys this sums up my video i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful let me know if you already tried any of these products and you already love them or you don't a lot of this 
products that I talked about today became favorites and staples in my beauty routine and my beauty collection and they don't receive as much attention as they deserve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel before you leave today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.